Hello, you gorgeous lot. How are you? I am back with another video. Who here, raise your hand, who here is trying to save money by not using the tumble dryer? Put me in the comments if that applies to you. So I've been trying to save money. For those of you that watch my video about a spin dryer versus a dehumidifier, you'll know that I'm like really, I'm really committing to the cause. The one place that I was really struggling was towels. Put them in my spin dryer, they can go through my spin dryer and they come back dry-ish or drier than they would do if I was just to put them through an extra spin on the washing machine. There's something about tumble drying a towel that makes it fluffier and softer. Or does it? So I put on my little geeky hat, put on my geek hat, the hat that loves like anything to do with the science behind cleaning and all that sort of stuff. And I did some research and this is what I have come up with. So these are the steps that if I'm not already doing, I will be implementing to try and keep my towels nice and fluffy without actually tumble drying them. So the first, the first thing I actually already knew about, and we talk about it all the time in the Facebook community, the organized one Facebook community is white vinegar. Now, whenever I talk about white vinegar in a washing machine, this is like, as with anything in life, moderation is key. There is a little bit of a question mark over whether using white vinegar in every single load, because I know that some people swear by using white vinegar as like a natural fabric conditioner. There is a little bit of a question mark over that about whether that can damage over time and prolonged regular use the rubber seal on your washing machine. So for me, this is just a mod moderation. As with anything of life, you can have too much of a good thing. But in particular with towels, if you've been washing your towels for a while, then you can get a buildup of washing powder or whatever you use to do your laundry. And that gets onto the fibers and it can cause them to be feel a little bit stiff, a little bit scratchy. So by using white vinegar, it just really helps to get rid of that res residue and break it all down. Now on this point, and I think this is, this is like science and it's, it's fascinating. You might think that oh, I'm not adding enough fabric conditioner and you might double down on the amount of fabric conditioner that you use in order to try and soften your towels. Makes sense, right? But in actual fact, the fabric conditioner can leave, again, a residue, a buildup on your towels, which actually has the opposite effect and leaves them less fluffy. So not only are you sabotaging your own efforts, but you're also literally pouring money down the drain. Again, if you if you think that's you, then a little cup of white vinegar, not the actual cup, don't put the cup in the washing machine, just the liquid, is gonna help to reduce that residue. It could be that you might need to do it, repeat the process a couple of times. This is something that I'm guilty of and that I am going to stop doing. So not, not every day, you can't, you can't get a towel on the line every day because I live in England and I don't know if you know, but it rains a lot. So I have the pulley thing in my utility room, but I also have a radiator. Now, granted, my radiator hasn't been turned on yet because I would like it to be known for the record that we are coming up to mid-October and I still haven't turned the heating on. Again, try to save money. But you could be tempted to think, I'm gonna dry my towel over a radiator that's on, don't do this. Drying your towel on a radiator can actually make it crispier because it just bunches up all those fibers. And you know, you know that if you've dried a towel on the radiator, you kind of lift it off and it sort of retains, retains the position, doesn't it? In which you originally left it on the radiator. Better to get them out on the line when you can. Now I am gonna be doing this much more than I have ever had in my whole life is <sighs> reading, the weather reports. It's much better to time your laundry if you can, so that you can get the towels on the line. And with this as well, try to wash towels together. If you wash towels together, then it's going to help the fibers fluff out, especially if you don't overload the machine. Don't just stuff as much as you can in, again, thinking like, if I put as much in as possible, I'm gonna be saving money. Yes, obviously that's one way of thinking about it, but you might sacrifice the fluffiness of your towel. You give your towels enough room to move around in the towel load, 
then you're going to give them a greater chance to come out and stay fluffy and soft. And just before you put them into the washing machine, give them a good shake. Again, this like almost resets the fibers so that when they go into that washing machine and go through a cycle, as, ma as many of the fibers as possible can just sort of like be revived and fluffed up. And finally, if you do dry a towel on the line and it comes back and it's not as soft as you want and you absolutely can't resist putting it through the tumble dryer, if it's already dry, then you don't have to put it on a normal tumble dryer cycle. If you look at your own tumble dryer, you might see that there's an air an airing cycle, which my tumble dryer has, which means it's, it's not heated. It just, you know, moves things around the drum with just normal air that isn't heated. And this, again, is going to help to fluff up the fibres. So I hope this has helped. I hope it's helped to give you some little tips for how you can re still reduce that tumble dryer usage, but try and have as fluffy a towel as possible. Leave a comment below to tell me how you're trying to save money on the laundry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you all in the next video.